Hi, thanks for joining us. And welcome to our Elm Creek Challenge Let's Play. We are starting with some basic equipment and hoping to build up based on our success through the series. Playing as realistically as we can, focused on farming and hoping to get into some production chains. We're just pulling into our farm, so let's have a quick look at what we have. We have some decent land here with a farmhouse a number of barns and three fields to start us off. And for our starting equipment, we have this Deutzfar Top Liner 4090 Harvester, a Rabe Cultivator, a Nordston Seeder, an Amazon Fertilizer, and that's the Harvester Header Trailer. Our trailer is a Welga DK115, uh, we do have a lizard pickup, a Schaefer front loader, and our two tractors are this Burra 6105 and this John Deere 4755. This is where we are on the map, and our three fields are 44, 45, and 46. 45 is now ready to harvest. It is a wheat field. We are just about to get started with our harvest, so let's get our equipment set up. So 45 is this one just here, right next to us on our farmyard. So I'm going to head round and pick up the harvester. And I'm going to get the trailer. So that we can get our first bit of harvesting done. I actually really like the way this yard's set out. Having this field kind of right in front of the house, pretty cool location. Yeah, I like how all the free, free fields are together in one area. Yeah, they're good ones to start with, and they're not actually too big, are they? No, I think they're a good size for the machinery and equipment that we start with. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be the first time we've used this Dutes Fart Harvester. Uh, yeah, it's not the smallest, is it? I, it's a basic harvester, but I think it's got a fair size tank to it. And the header is good size as well. It's not too small, is it? No, I think it's capable, especially for a field like this, just out by the road. So here we go, ready to start off our harvester. I just need to unfold it, that would be good. And get the uh, header spinning. So here we go for our first bit of harvest. Yay. Oh. Cut the heads. Also we got lucky because our field doesn't have any weeds in it. Ah uh, yeah, that is a good start. But it is 0% fertilised so we won't get as much yield out of it. Okay, so yeah, uh, I guess the, at least with the, the weeds not being there, we're going to get the most we can. So we'll certainly get some fertilizer going uh, as we go forward with our next two fields. Yep, yeah. one of them needs cultivating and one of them needs seeding, I'm pretty sure. Okay, right, there's our first run. Let's spin this round. So that's only 6% full on one run. That's uh, very so good, actually. We're probably actually going to get quite a lot done in this first drive through. Let's try to head her back down. Go back through. So we're probably looking about uh, like six to eight spins. Gonna head out. I'm not sure we're gonna hit the end of the field before we get much through. <laughs> there we go. The season has started. <laughs> <laughs> in August. Yeah, it always starts in August. Uh, I mean, it's a good time to get bits like this done. Uh, yeah, but we'll not for seeding, it's not. No, we'll have to have a look in a minute. Just at the end of the run next. Turn around. I'll have to have a look at the uh, season's seeding guide after this and see what it is we're going to be able to put back in <laughs> anything at this time of year. Yeah, that's uh, Particularly okay. for getting those other fields set up as well. Don't really want them sitting empty, do we? No, definitely not. Otherwise, we'll have to end up buying other fields to harvest, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I want to try and make some money early on as possible. Right, so let's just get us through this field. Uh, 
And we're on our last little strip just here. Heading to the end of our first field. That actually felt like a really good field. Perfect size to start us off. Let's just tuck the pipe away on this harvester. So that's the end of that field. Completely harvest. We can go and pop this away. We're not going to need this for a while. Work out which shed it's going to fit in. And then, well now we've got this straw in the ground, we're going to have to look at our, our baler of some description. Yeah, we are. I've got 46% in my trailer now. 46%. So, uh, probably not the season to be selling. We'll have a quick look. Maybe we need to pop it into our silo for now. I yeah. might be wrong. But we'll have a quick look at the um, the prices and see what they are. So let's go on to this one. So uh, it's wheat, isn't it? Uh, currently nothing in our silos. The uh, price is... So August is a bit lower by the looks of it. And then increase them from here. Yeah. How many litres is that? Uh, 3,688 litres. It's not that much, is it? No. So I'm thinking silo. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think it would be a good place to put it. Right? So let's pop this in. We're going to have to move some of our equipment out of the way. And we'll get it into the silo. So let's get this grain dropped off into our silo for now. Be the first thing that we're storing. In it goes. Not very much. <laughs> yeah. It's a start. Everything counts. So our trailer must be about 8,000 litres, if that's about 50%. Yeah, I think that is about right. I think it was around that uh, kind of size. It's really good to start us off, yeah. especially with a harvest like that. Okay, uh, so that's our first bit in. So that's that done with the field. Now we do need to have a, a look at this bale option. So if we go to the shop, there is a couple of uh, different options on here. So you've got the uh, balers, the bale loaders and the bale wrappers separately. Uh, in the balers there's a few options now obviously there's a few on here that are very expensive and we aren't going to be uh, able to afford at the moment maybe later and then there's a couple of cheaper ones so there's the um, Massey Ferguson MF1840 it's 22,000 produces these smaller square bales remember to look, also look on the sale market as well oh yeah we will have a look at that uh, the other option is this Pottinger Impress 128 5F Pro uh, it's round bales for this one yeah that looks quite smart as well doesn't it it does so yeah let's uh, have a little look on the used vehicle sale and see if there's anything uh, it doesn't look like currently oh there's a bale wrapper though there's a bale wrapper uh, ready for silage there's a tank uh, for liquids on there a header for a harvester and a tank for uh, seeds that seeds yeah as an additional seeds yeah, tank for yeah, the front, extra, yeah. extra tank. So that's what's another moment. We definitely need to keep an eye on that. Hopefully, we'll be able to save some money as we go. Yeah. Uh, for now, though, hmm, I guess we could start. I mean, the fields aren't that big. So no, the fields are quite small. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Smaller square bales. We've never done them before. We haven't, and uh, only twenty-two thousand is the best price for now, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so if we pick one of those up, we'll have to get that from the store in a minute. But at the same time, we are going to need a trailer to put them on. So if we have a look in the bale loaders, let's see what's in here. So I think this is what we're meant to have. It's the multi-pack D14, but it's also £64,000. Seems a bit extravagant at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, that's way out of our price range at the moment, isn't it? Very smart. So we have got some other options. There is just a flat trailer. Or oh, there's one with some sides on it. They're a bit big though, aren't they? Yeah, we could also take the sides off our main trailer. Oh, we could. Uh, other trailers we've got. So we've got this Welga DK115 and we have the option to turn it into a bales trailer. Uh, so we could either do that with the one we've got, take the sides off, or we could get another one for bales if we need to as we go forwards. It looks like you can also change the uh, cover on it. Oh yeah, we could have like a yellow one for bales and a blue one for grain. 
the others have all got uh, covers on. I'm not sure of any of these. You can change. Oh yeah, it looks like it looks like there's a few then that we've got an option for. This Brantner does the same. Yeah, thing. that's quite a large one as well, isn't it? Yeah. Is that bigger than this one? Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive as well. Uh, or we've, of course, there's some low loader trailers down here. This sort of thing that we could just put some on. So what we've decided is we're going to go for a second Welga. Uh, but we're going to do it on the Bales trailer setup. Uh, so we'll keep everything else as standard. Uh, we can pop in our, our license. Uh, oh, hang on, that's gone off there. Let's go back to it again. Bales. Travel over one. Should do us. Let's put that on the back. And get those done there. And let's buy that so then we'll have the two things at the shop ready for us to pick up. Yeah. So let's go and get those and get them back down to the farm. onto the main road here. We're not too far away from the shop. No, we've just got the highway connecting us, don't we? We do, uh, right near the petrol station. I've got a diner over there. We're working late. Fire station, just in case. <laughs> yeah, handy to be near the fire station. Always good to know they're nearby. A couple of houses around as well. Very picturesque really nicely done yeah even though it's open it's still very nicely like styled and yeah you certainly feel like you are a part of a community and even that field being right next to the main road it's a nice place to be yeah yes. got the uh, toy shop there and another uh, maybe office space or something next to it some nice farms around for supporting your local farmers and, uh, that Mexican restaurant. That's one of the productions for bread. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, bread production. We're really looking forward to getting into those. Uh, that could be one that we uh, we do do. A few more houses, and then just some more open fields and some industry over at the side. Uh, we're just coming up to the shops now. I think that's one of the uh, vehicle shops, and then we are heading into. The shop space here. Yeah, we have our trailer that uh, Waffles just picked up, and I'm going to grab our baler. It's a funny little machine, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, compared to the size of the balers that uh, we've generally been using. Yeah, it definitely suits your style of tractor reserve isn't <laughs> yeah, it? it does I think this would look a bit random with one of those uh, big balers or something attached to it yeah that's for sure uh, but uh, yeah, I'm quite interested actually to see the size of bale this is going to kick out because they are quite a lot smaller than the normal size aren't they They're yeah sort of conventional larger bales that we've been dealing with I wonder even on a, a field of our size how many bales we will end up having hopefully not too many well, hopefully not no Some of these American maps find the um, have really large fields, though, don't they? Yeah, some of them are absolutely huge. You need, like the biggest harvesters and the biggest equipment for them. Yeah, and that certainly wouldn't have matched what we were trying to achieve this time. So, uh, really, really excited with the uh, the view of this Elm Creek so far. So back down on the farm and we're going to get straight into getting this bailed up. I think we'll also end up just selling these straight off, won't we? So these, this is going to be our first proper bit of income. Yeah, it's going to be also our first experience using this very small baler. It is. So that's, uh, I think we're going to need to unfold it in some fashion. And um, obviously drop the pickup down and get it fired up. Seem to be running, and let's see if we can get some bales out. 
was actually pretty quick. Uh, and here comes our first bale. Yeah, so they are proper little sort of rectangles. I wonder how long oh, yeah, that's wow. going to be. Hopefully we need to get one out before we reach the end here. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I like that. That's that's really smart. They are very small. Pick up, up, turn us around. I'll just go straight on to the third one here. They are indeed so small that you can pick them up by hand. Oh yeah, okay, so that's really handy. So we can actually load the trailer up uh, by hand. By hand, we have obviously got our Schaefer with a bell spike on it as well. So hopefully we'll be alright to uh, picking up those. So we are going to get a fair few off this field. Yeah, so so far we've got... One... about four? Four, yeah. Five just now. Just dropped another one down there. So they are... Uh, I think there's 7,000 litre bales when they're full. Alright. That's so not we're bad. Getting, a, getting about four per run uh, now that it's settled in. Obviously, that first run we only got with one because it was empty at that point. But yeah, we're dropping off now. So, dropping off a second one. So, about four per run. Well. Oh, yeah, it says there's 700 litres exactly, like you said. Yeah, 700. Yeah, possibly say 7,000. Oh. Uh, definitely 700. <laughs> we would be excited if we were getting 7,000 out of these uh, small bales, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Might get a little bit less out of this, so it looks like a bit of staggered output on this last run. Obviously it was only a half run, wasn't it, by the time we got to this point. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe it was. Maybe not even that. Just very slow picking up on this one. Our harvester was basically perfect for this field though. It was really good. And this baler actually seems to be really good for it as well, so very happy with that. At the end of that run. Yeah, it's actually it's not as much round. bales as I thought it was going to be producing. No, they're, they're a good size. Yeah, I didn't want to go like crazy because that would just like <laughs> too many bales. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think with uh, a larger baler, we probably have ended up with a one or two. That would maybe have felt a little bit less uh, satisfying. <laughs> yeah, and there'd be like three quarters left in the <laughs> thing as yeah. well. Yeah, one bale plus the rest stuck in the baler. <laughs> yeah, that might not have felt like a very rewarding start. <laughs>
make sure we're not throwing them across the field. On top. But this trailer is going to fit a lot of veils on it. It is actually. Uh, yeah, in a very nice fashion. So we're just going to grab the rest of the bales here and get this trailer loaded up. Yeah, so that's our first bales on. We're just going to move the tractor up the field to be a bit closer to the rest of the bales and get these loaded on. They actually sit really nicely on this trailer. Properly strapped down and you can get, uh, I think it's four, maybe five. Yeah, and five bales. Five, five in a row we can fit on this. And, and they, uh, they perfectly. Do yeah, they do fit very nicely. Presumably we could go a few high as well before over the top of the trailer. Yeah. Uh, so let's take uh, that strap back off and let's grab a few more bales here. Another quick track to move. All right. Let's just pop this track around that so we don't lose them. And we've got uh, four more just sat over here. And that'll be uh, this part complete. All right. So if you want to drive up again and we'll pick up our last two bales that is actually a really good way to be able to do that i'm glad we chose that to a smaller baler yeah as we would have to use our front loader and it'd be very difficult the front loader just ends up taking a while doesn't it you yeah. end up needing the larger bale handling fork so you can sort of stack and pick up Oh dear, oh. Uh, until I clear the, uh, the trailer <laughs> off again, that's not very handy, let's pass that up to you. And I'll just try and pop it on the edge here, hopefully you'll have luck with it, and I have. <laughs> I'm going to grab our last one off the field. Unfortunately, we have filled the lower part of that trailer completely we've just one stack left over so we're just gonna have to, should we put it at the front well, i guess yeah it's gonna have to go up, uh, just up here and they get strapped in with those I'll just to attach this strap back on and then if we get that one it's like in the middle on the top There we go. There we go. So that is our first amount of bailing. I think that's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, no, really satisfying way to do that. Actually, it's a nice, nice thing. So how much have we got there? If you have another look. We've got fourteen thousand seven hundred liters. Fourteen thousand seven hundred. So again, let's have a look at where we sell. So we've got twenty-one bales. So that's going to be under straw here. Uh, so we have a look at the current prices. So we've got the Animal Dealer 132 South Valley Biomass Energy 153. Now, again, this month is lower than the next month. Mm. Is it worth uh, keeping those? We're not going to need the trade at the moment. So perhaps we should just pop this to one side. And wait for next month. And wait for next month whilst we figure out uh, the other bits that we need to be doing. So there we go, just going straight on into the barn. Keep them under cover whilst we are waiting to sell them in the next month. I think that was a really successful start to our Elm Creek farm. We got our first harvest done and baling. We got some 
nice wheat sat in our silo so we know we can sell that as the prices start to increase and actually really enjoyed that first bit of baling we've got those sat there as well ready for us to sell again when we can get the best price for it let's hope we make some good profit we've got so much planned as we continue our elm creek farming experience we look forward to joining us again hope you enjoyed